People are like, Josh, that's not possible. I don't know if you could do that. Are you sure it'll be as good? Well, that's what this series is all about, making the impossible possible. You think a little cinnamon roll is gonna be a problem? making Cinnabon cinnamon rolls but better. Now this is one that a lot of people are afraid to touch. They think that they're just, you can't make them better, right? You can't, right? Wrong, 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 wrong. That's not really a very good melody, but you get the point. It's not my job to do melodies. It's my job to swing my cinnamon roll sword. So that's what we're gonna do. So with all that said, let's make this, shall we? So apparently finding a Cinnabon, a lot of them are in malls. I don't really wanna be at a mall right now because it's kind of like a pandemic and I'm trying to be like, there's the Cinnabon underneath Schlotzky's. Where's the Schlotzky's? It's over there. Why would they do that? They literally said, we'll put a sign here, but it's actually over there. Over there. I'm gonna go get it. Okay, bye bye. This is kind of heavy, like, it's got some weight to it. I think it's time for the taste. We got. Oh, I told you this had weight to it. That Did you hear that? <laughs> Stinky. That's really gross how that's not. I wish that would fall. It smells nice. Dough and sugar and cinnamon. Bit, uh, this is fresh baked today and it's like a rock. That, that is not good. What is that? All right, my mouth is watering though because it smells really good, so I'll give them that. <laughs> Look how dry this is. And it's still dangling the poop string. It tastes good. Could be a little more cinnamony. Icing only tastes like sugar. You got we already got it in the bag. Okay, so to make these synonym rolls, we're gonna do something a little bit different. First start with the medium sized bowl. To that you're gonna add four cups or 580 grams of all purpose flour, half a cup or 107 grams of granulated sugar, and three quarters of a teaspoon or six grams of fine sea salt. Then realize that you're gonna do this in a stand mixer bowl and also that your current bowl was never large enough. So put it in a stand mixer bowl. Give that some whiskey business until thoroughly combined. To that, you're gonna add a third a cup or 84 grams of unsalted softened butter. Take two forks and just kind of blend that in there until it gets thoroughly incorporated with the dry flour. You can also use your fingers to press that together as well. Now separately, I've got one cup or 235 grams of lukewarm milk, whole milk that is, around 100 degrees Fahrenheit. To that, you're gonna add two and a quarter teaspoon or seven grams of instant yeast and just simply stir to dissolve. Because we're using instant, you don't need to let it sit, unless you're worried that it's dead, in which case, yes. Pop the flour mixture onto the stand mixer, begin mixing on medium low speed using the spiral dough hooky Thing. Add your yeasty milk, two whole eggs, and one egg yolk. Then just let that mix on medium low speed for about two to three minutes or until you get a nice smooth dough. Now look, I know a lot of people are gonna be like, Josh, you, I don't have a stand mixer. Cool, then you can totally do this by hand. Just a little bit more difficult. Now once that dough pulls together, pull it off your stand mixer. Make sure to give the dough hook a little taste. Does this look dangerous to you? Because it is, don't do that. Plop your dough onto a lightly floured work surface and just give it a little knead for about 30 seconds to a minute just to help really smooth it out and get that gluten structure formed. Now that dough is gonna be a little bit loosey goosey and that's okay. Roll that into a light ball, plop it into a greased bowl and cover it with a damp towel or plastic wrap and let it rise at room temperature for one and a half hours or until doubled. Make sure to give it a little so a, a personality, all right, come on. Give it some love, so may, maybe some kisses. Now once your dough's ready, let's mix together our cinnamon sugar. To do that, you're gonna need one cup or 225 grams of brown sugar, one tablespoon or 14 grams of muscovado sugar, that's optional, and two and a half tablespoons or 17 grams of ground cinnamon. Give that some whiskey business until thoroughly combined. Now lightly flour a work surface, punch down and dump out your chonky dough, flatten it and then roll it into a large rectangle that's a little bit over a quarter of an inch thick. So you want it pretty thin. And look, this rectangle is gonna be big, like 27 inches long, roughly. But fellas, does dough length really matter? Yeah, it does, yeah. Then you're gonna spread a third a cup or 84 grams of unsalted softened butter all across the surface of it. Make sure that this butter is really, really soft, otherwise it's not gonna spread and it's gonna tear your dough. Then take your cinnamon sugar and spread all of it evenly across the surface of your dough. You should use all your filling. Then tightly roll it up from the bottom all the way up to the top so you get a nice, beautiful, thick, log. Then using a serrated blade with scalloped edges and not toothy edges, because toothy edges are mean and they tear the poop out of this, so that's no good. Anyway, slice it into segments that are about two inches thick. You should end up with 12 solid rolls. Give or take a couple scragglers, that's okay. Lightly grease a 9x13 baking dish. I'll have a link in the description for mine. Line the bottom of the pan with your cinnamon rolls. Should get nice and even rows of three. It's cool if they touch, you want that. Make sure to face their little tails towards each other. Now once your whole pan is filled with cinnamon rolls, lightly cover with plastic wrap and let that rise at room temperature for about 30 
30 to 45 minutes or until they're one and a half times their original size. Wow, look at these fat boys. Remove your plastic wrap, then just pop those bad boys into the oven, set to 375 Fahrenheit or 190 Celsius for 15 to 20 minutes or until you get beautifully risen, plump golden brown cinnamon rolls. Pull those out and let those cool in their container for about 15 minutes. Now to make your vanilla bean cream cheese glaze, you're gonna start with four ounces or 115 grams of full fat cream cheese. Whip on high speed until nice and smooth, then blend in three quarters of a cup or 90 grams of powdered sugar until completely smooth, then mix in three tablespoons or 45 milliliters of whole milk. You may need a little more, but this should suffice. Once you get a nice thick but still drizzle a bowl, is that a word? Glaze. Add half of a vanilla bean scraped of its seeds. You can save the pod for later. Whisk that in, and you've got your glaze. Okay, so at this point in time, your bun should be cooled but still quite warm. Now you can just go ahead and drizzle on your cream cheese glaze. Use all of it. That is a cinnamon roll. Now all we gotta do is taste it. We got two hot... Why did I say it like that? Let's try mine. <laughs> Synonym rolls. Bruh, and I don't say that. Look at the bottom of this. Caramelized like a candy apple bottom jeans. I don't even know what I'm saying. I don't even want to say anything about this. At this point, just try the recipe because this is so astronomically better. The first bite, I promise you're gonna be like, Every time. Today, Vikram's back with the... Nope, wrong way, Vikram. Other way around. There you go. That's the right way. All right, so today we're gonna be... Vikram's back by popular demand. Thank you so much for requesting. Okay, so we have number one, and we have number two. Here's number one. All right. Oh, God. It's on the bag. Get <laughs> out. Just open. And then number two. <laughs> Just switch one before I take the mask off. One or two. Two for sure. Without a doubt. Uh, <laughs> all right, I will say number two is better because it was softer. Yeah, it wasn't dry at all. It was just a good clean bite. And I really enjoyed it. We win by better again. Wow, look at that. We just can't stop defeating the establishment. You want to call yourself the world famous cinnamon roll, then you're going to have to go through me. And today, I don't think that really worked out for you, bro. But better, episode 14, we win. But do you want to know what else is ultra thicky sticky? And that is it. So we made Cinnabon cinnamon rolls. Now, here's the whole breakdown of the whole thing, right? There's two pieces to this story. Obviously, the cinnamon rolls need to be warm in order to be their best, all right? We warmed both. It was a clear winner. It really was. The hard thing for most people is like, Cinnabon cinnamon rolls are supposed to be baked fresh, and therefore it's hard to compete with them, right? Because it's the fresh baked quality that makes them better. But you forgot about one very specific component, and that is love. When you roll that dough out and you lay down and go to sleep with it, there's just no other comparison. Now, you don't actually have to sleep with your dough, but the point is that you can make it far better cinnamon rolls by just taking the time to make them yourself, and that is the beauty of this series. That is why we're doing this. We are teaching everybody just the right way. There's nothing special about it. So anyway, with all that said, if you enjoyed this video or you learned something, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. I didn't forget to grab the handles, the small. Oh.